Hello and welcome to another free code session. My name is Jason Bach and I think I've, <clears throat> excuse me, figured out what the problem is. And I think I didn't, you know, in the last episode I said that it's because when you have a scoped parameter, it doesn't matter if it's a rest struct or not, but if it's scoped, you have to make a projected delegate. And so what we're doing right now is we're saying if it's a ref or an out or it was always happening for a ref struct before, and now it isn't, which is okay-ish, but this was actually technically a bug because you can have a scoped ref int, and that's not a ref struct, but it's scoped. So we need to have on the parameters a way to say, is it scoped? The problem is right now, we get it in the parameter model. By the time we get to the method model, when we're trying to figure out, does it require a projected delegate? We're doing it on a method symbol. And this, we, we basically want to take the logic that we have in the parameter model here to say, is it scoped? To put it on a parameter and then on a parameter symbol, and then we could or should or will reuse it here because these are parameter symbols. So then we can do that same calculation. So we're gonna have to back up, a, back up the bus a little bit and do some extensions on I parameter symbol. And what we wanna have here is internal static bool is scoped. This I parameter self. And this will be scoped if what all this is true. Wow, that got messed up in a hurry. Okay, so we say here all these are self dot. Okay, and then we can say here parameter is scoped. There. And then we should put a to do add test for is scoped. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we've got is scoped and that's good. So let's close that out. We've got is scoped there. That still will work as expected. Now here those where we need to say or, or is scoped or there. So now we're gonna make a projected delegate, which is true, but I think I have also short-circuited the logic to say, because if I look at the method model here, I'm saying if it requires a projected delegate, we say the project, and it's just a callback. The return type doesn't matter. It's just the callback. So here, when we're saying we build a delegate, we do this here, we build a delegate. So we may build it, but we may not be calling it. We may not be using it. So which is the test that is failing? It's this one, generate when the parameter is scoped, okay? So what's interesting now is if I'm looking at this, we are only, we've only been generating it in the case here, because it's a ref, that's why. But we do need to be generating ones for this case. Okay, so this isn't gonna fix it completely, but let's see how far we've gotten. Okay, let's grab all that code. Yeah, we need to do the test log. And then let's see what else needs to be fixed. Because it could just generate the callbacks. Yeah, and I saw like three there as that went by. Oh, come on. What, you can't remember what you wanted to copy paste. There. So you can see now. Oh, and then the handler is doing the right thing for all three of those. Okay, well, that's good. And we would see this. It's not the arguments that we care about. These are rough struct arguments. Those are okay, I think. 
And then we are seeing the three down. So let's see what this does now. It passes. Okay. So now let's run all the tests. Because this was the only one that was failing. The other ones were perfectly fine. But we do need to create these callbacks for the case where we have a scoped. And then that's the rule. It's just scoped. It doesn't matter if it's a ref struct or not. We may need to look at the is scoped thing again, depending upon what the results look like here. Yeah, one still fails. What is failing? Generate web params is ref struct. So what is the problem here? Yeah, we're creating a callback. Yeah, so this is an interesting one. <laughs> This, I think, is what I had in here to say, well, we wanted to, we want to handle this case. But what's happening here is it's saying params that. That's interesting. Why is it doing that? Because it thinks it's scoped is what, what I'm thinking is that there's like an implicit it's scoped. But what we had there before was okay. So if I go back to <laughs> the rocks thing here and I say, let's look at our parameter symbol extensions and I say, if it's a ref like type and it's not is params. Okay, so now if we do that, what does this do? It passes. A lot of this is kind of like flailing. <laughs> If there's an official term for this, it is called flailing. Because if you saw in the last episode, some of the errors I were getting, they have no documentation yet. So I'm kind of just guessing at this point. So now they pass. The next step is to shut down startup again and see if the integration tests pass. Well, the build succeeds, and they all succeed. So that's interesting. <laughs> so let's let's capture that real quick. Let's see. All tests pass now. I'm not convinced that it's right because if you notice, I have a thing in here for params test to actually do a test with params read only a span. So we're we're gonna find out if that actually does work the way we expect it to. And now we have this thing done though. Okay, I'm just curious because I'm a curious fella. What happens if we make this the startup and we run it? This is much better. Okay, this is much, much better. Type reference may not be used as a type argument. That's that's okay. I can deal with an error like that because they're all the same. This used to be thousands and thousands of errors. So to get it to 16 where it's one, where I bet it's this typed reference type, which I kind of sort of remember, is one of those pseudo special type things that we can't use. So we're, I'm gonna have to look into that one a little bit more in detail. But I'm okay with this. In fact, I am astounded by this. This is much better than what we had before. And the fact that it doesn't bomb as bad as it did is such a nice thing. So I'm I'm actually pretty good. I'm I'm feeling much better than I did a half an hour ago. So, so I got that going for me. I was also dealing this morning with things at work with Kubernetes and Docker and everything else on my local machine. And I think I finally got it working, but that, that I needed to take a break from that for a moment and do something that I can actually get my head around. So what do I do at this point? What is file name? There's nothing in there. I don't know why we have that class. Whatever, go away. If you're not helping, don't be hurting or something. Okay, so what do I wanna do now? Well, I've got a to-do list here, but we have a test in params test. This one's gonna be kind of interesting because I don't get a lot of help. When this issue is worked on at a params read only, well, guess what? Guess what time we've got going now? Void params foo this no 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 int a params read only span of a string b. 
okay? And so now what we wanna do is create members with read-only struct spam, read-only span params argument. So now what we wanna do is I don't, call, I don't care about calling this. What I do care about calling is params foo. And now this should be a read-only struct, a, re, a ref struct argument. And so we should be able to just say that there. Except what we can do is say, let's validate it. So we should see the length is equal to two. So we wanna see B and C. And we don't have a value here. And we don't have a return value anymore. Does this work? It failed. Why did it fail? No handlers are found for void foo. Oh, I'm I'm a dummy. You actually have to call the thing. <laughs> Passes. If I make this three, it fails. Yes. Perfect. I'm very happy with this. I'm very, very happy with this. Let's do a make members. So now I say I have params make expect. Do I do this? Yeah, I just say mock there. Okay, so I say this. Let's get rid of all that. Let's do this. And we do that. And that should be okay. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That, that was completely wrong. Hold on. Yeah, we want to say here, I'll take that off and we say, New I have, except we want to say here, make. And that passes to perfect, perfect. Well, let's not get too excited here. There, because you, you have to be able to just use the argument as is, as a type. And so it's a ref struct. So the only thing we could do in here is validate that we get length equal to two. And we could also do something like um, length is equal to two and the zeroth one is equal to b and the firstith one is equal to c and that works beauty that's actually really nice and this is not actually what's, what's interesting is that this should be like an argument of a array but that's not what we don't necessarily do the right thing here because of params it, it does workish because we are getting, we are comparing it to that, so that kind of does work. I don't think we could do the same thing up here because we can't pass in a ref, we can't pass in a read-only span to the ref struct because of just how ref structs work, and I've, I've mentioned this before in previous episodes. But we can actually check the contents here to say we did get the things that we expect. I'm happy. I'm very happy with that. So let's say 170 added params integration testing for read only span. All right, so I think we're at the to-do things. We're at the to-do parts, and I'm not gonna do that in this episode. This one I'm gonna do first. So if I say put that home, put that there. I'm gonna do that one first, because we really should have tests around something to say, is it scoped? And then I'm going to look for these and then I'm going to see if I can remove this because really esoteric should now be just be just is pointer and replaced with is pointer. I think that's actually what we care about. I think these things can be removed. So I'm going to do that in the next episode, address these things. And then I also... What I should do before anything else is code gen test is much better, but getting one small error, capture that and create an issue. So I just wanna make sure that that thing with type reference, I don't forget that and that I actually address that. This is a good ending. I'm very happy with this. Still some work to do on this issue, but I'm in a much better spot and that's a good feeling. Thank you all for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.